What to do, YouTube fam? It's your boy, STL Guru 314. Uh, today I'm bringing y'all some Madden 13 ranked gameplay. Um, I went ahead and uh, I was getting bored of playing a demo a little bit. Um, uh, like I said, it's only so much you can do in a demo. <laughs> got tired of playing against the computer and I got tired of playing Call of Duty. So I went ahead and got on some Madden last night uh, and played. It was like my second time playing like the past two months. Like I said, I haven't been playing much Madden 13 content at all. But I went ahead and got the Packers. Uh, this, that's the team I'm, I'm most used to. My opponent decided to get the uh, uh, New Orleans Saints, uh, which the Saints are a pretty good team. They have a really nice offense with Drew Brees uh, at the quarterback position. And I'm here. Uh, like I said, I actually had played a Madden 13 game, like, I want to say, like, three days ago. I actually played against uh, the, a guy. I think he was ranked, like, 11th on, on the leaderboard. And I'm beating him pretty bad. I think I beat him by, like, uh, I want to say like 30, beat him by like 30. So, so like I said, that was like my first game back at Madden in like two months or a month and a half or so. And I played the number 11 guy and I beat him by like 30. So I guess uh, not too, not, not too much has changed. Uh, I, think, I guess I still got a little skill when it comes to this Madden. And uh, right there you guys see uh, Clay Matthews. I, I get the nice hit stick and Clay Matthews gets hurt. I don't understand why this year in Madden they did that a lot. Like whenever, like, uh, one of your star players to get a big hit on uh, one of the opposing team players, he would be, be injured. Hope they fix that uh, in uh, this next year's Madden in 25. But as you guys see, I go up early. I go up 7-0, and uh, just just running my offense, just just dipping it down. Uh, my offense is not. I mean, I, I I have home run plays in my offense, but you know it's mainly just reads, uh, dipping it down, making the defense work. And uh, there I make uh, a bad read. <laughs> Speaking of reads. <laughs> Make a bad read, uh, just trying to be greedy. Like I said, uh, and I hear, just back on defense, uh, my opponent, he was running some real simple offense. Just r real simple. I think it was like out of the single back. Um, he had a couple of out routes, a couple of slant routes. Then he mixed it in with the run. Here, Darren Sproles is uh, Barry Sanders, I guess, breaking tackles, <laughs> uh, making moves. But like I said, he just he just keep uh, trying to abuse the run. He said he hit me with the stretch a lot and whatnot. But, um, there I make an adjustment. I see he's trying to do the slant route still. So I just like, okay, well I'm gonna just I'm gonna just uh, throw some yellow zones out here and just bait him across the middle of the field to throw it. And he does. So I get back on O, and uh, that should have been the pick. Aaron Rodgers made some pretty bad throws this game. Uh, I mean I shouldn't have threw that ball right there, but Aaron Rodgers should have led him more to the inside with that ball. But that's my offense, you know. I make I try to make the throws uh, <laughs> that I would make in real life. Uh, there. I don't know how that guy came up with Randall Cobb, but I try to make the throws that I would make in real life. Like I said, I did play um, high school football. I was a uh, first team all state, uh, and uh, where I'm from, 6A, which is the biggest class in uh, my uh, my state, Missouri. And I played quarterback, but also played a little quarterback. I played, I mean, I played running back and cornerback, but also played a little quarterback too. Uh, so I would, I, I try to make the throws that I believe that I can make, <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Cause it's a video game. But like I said, my opponent, he, he's actually a pretty good opponent. Uh, I think this guy was a level 13. Um, so, you know, I have work, my work cut out for me. And uh, it was a really good game. Hope you guys stay tuned. You're going to really enjoy this enjoy this game, this footage that I'm bringing you guys. And like I said, uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this uh, Madden 25, man. We got, a, I think we got another week or so before it drops. And I'm just getting really excited. I'm trying to see if uh, any of my, uh, my local game stops. Are doing uh, uh, any tournaments where I, I can get it for free? Cause that'd be a lot better to get it for free than rather than pay 60 bucks for it. <laughs> and here uh, I hold him to a field goal. Ends up taking his three, which is uh, pretty smart. Uh, like I said, I hope uh, some of my local game stops are uh, giving tournaments that way I can get a chance to win it for free uh, rather than paying 60 bucks. That would uh, really, uh, really be much, much appreciated. <laughs> Here, uh, man, I get a light so break with Randall Cobb and kick off, and that, and I'm out to the crib. Or am I? Now I end up getting caught like the ten yard line. And um, if I sound a little dry, guys, sorry, I'm doing this commentary really early in the morning, <laughs> really early. So uh, pr please forgive me, and I hope you got hope the uh, the gameplay footage actually makes up for it. Here I get all the way down there, and I make a boneheaded thing, boneheaded decision. I make a bad pass, and he uh, picks six to the crib on me. So now I'm back on O, just uh, trying to trying to redeem myself really. Um, 
He's playing extreme. I mean, there's another bad throw by Aaron Rodgers. I mean, come on, you got to make that throw. He's playing uh, max coverage pretty much every single play. I mean, he, 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 either he's sending five or he's sending two or one every single play. And I, I don't have a problem with guys playing max coverage defense with every single possession. Well, actually, I do have a problem with guys playing max coverage defense every single possession. Like, you, you got to mix it up, man. Sit, no, there's nothing wrong with sending, sending some blitzes every once in a while. Nobody wants to play against somebody who's dropping 11 in coverage every single play. I mean, it's just, it's just no fun. There's uh, Look, here, here he tries to uh, do that same little route, man. I, I already know he's going to go to that out route, so I click on my user with Charles Wilson, and I go take that shit. And I could have probably took it to the crib, but I end up uh, stumbling and bumbling over uh, a couple guys, and Drew Brees brings me down. But like I said, uh, I hate guys who drop 11 and 10 in coverage every single play like there's no fun. That that takes no skill at all. You, basically, basically when guys play faggot, what they what 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 they already have a, a set into their mind is they can't stop. It, it can't stop your offense. Like if somebody's dropping ten or eleven in coverage every single time, I mean, I take that as a compliment because basically you're saying you can't stop me uh, on offense. And uh, you know, there's a there's things you can do. When other guys are trying to drop everybody back in coverage, I mean, you can always run with your quarterback, hit him with a couple of draws or whatnot. But um, yeah, there's there's no point in dropping all those guys back in coverage every single play. Um, mix it up, send some blitzes, send three, send four. I mean, even if you're not sending a blitzes, I mean, just send four. I mean, dropping dropping those guys back in coverage every single play just is not called for, it, and it's very stupid. But uh, it works for some guys, man. Some guys that's their game. I mean, they play fa uh, fag D all game. I mean. I don't do it, but some guys do. And here I know he's doing those out routes. I'm just I'm just adjusting to this dude very well. I know he's doing that out route over there. So I put a purple zone over there and Trey Mal Williams plays just perfectly. And uh I mean he just he so basically what we get out of this guy is he's running fag D and he's trying to do the simple as offense. And there I put a purple zone over there again. He, th he throws it the exact the exact same play and Trey Mal Williams this time I guess doesn't react the way he should. Uh, I guess Madden wanted him to have the touchdown right there. So I'm back on O. And I'm just, you know, it's tie game 17-17. It's actually a pretty good game. Uh, see, look, he's, he's sitting at one. I should have just ran with my quarterback, but I was just, just looking downfield. Like I said, I mean, just, just sitting at one person and just having everybody else in spies and yells is just re retarded. But anyway, you know, I'm going to try to get through this. Uh, so I hit him with a couple draws, try to loosen him up a little bit, make him want to send a little pressure. And Harry, he's sending two with a spy. <laughs> and, uh, I end up throwing a pass that's out of bounds. Um, so uh, here, he's sending one again with a spy. So I just, after, I swear the spy get first down and I headbang him. Just, just you know, kind of rub it in and tell him, you know, get out of that fag D and play some real defense. Um, but for the most part, I have been, uh, like I said, I, pl I played the demo, the Man 25 demo a couple times. Uh, really enjoyed it for the most part. Here I throw a nasty, crazy uh, precision pass across the, uh, the middle of the field, man. And, uh, that was a great pass by Aaron Rodgers. Like I said, I have been enjoying the demo. Uh, I might get back on it later on today and uh, try to find some uh, some more heat. Uh, I found I found some blisters that I like out of it. I found some edge heat and all that, but I still haven't found like some a gap that I really enjoy. I mean, I found some a gaps, but not the a gaps that I want. Like I said, I found like some linebacker a gaps, uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't consider those really a gaps because I mean, you get like it's like a delay. Uh, when you get your linebacker coming to a gap, it's like a second or two off. Um, rather than that, if, you, if you get your uh, defensive tackle or your uh, or your alignment to come through a gap, uh, it's much faster. And, uh, the uh, offense doesn't really have a chance to notice uh, that guy coming through that a gap that fast. So I might get back on later on today. Uh, actually, I might get on after I get done with this commentary and uh, try to see if I can find some more blitzes. Uh, so, some blitzes that's going to prepare me for this Madden uh, season. Uh, I'm actually trying to do a lot of big things in this Madden season. I'm going to be doing a lot of tournaments, man. I'm going to I'm going to try to get in all these virgin tournaments. I'm going to try to get into all the local tournaments where I'm from. Uh, like I said, last I've always been a big fan of Madden, but last year was my really my first season actually taking Madden serious. Like I said. Uh, I think last year was my first year actually being on Xbox Live and um, playing Madden Series. So I'm gonna uh, uh, really try to. Uh, here he tries to hit me with the uh, hit me with the fake spike. I wasn't having it. 
So I'm gonna really try to take Madden series this year as far as you know getting to tournaments. Uh, I might travel to get in a couple tournaments, man. Um, just really gonna try to get my name out there as far as just Madden, uh, as far as Madden and uh, to, to grow my YouTube channel. Um, um, what was I going to tell y'all? Yeah, that's basically about it. Just uh, just trying to dedicate myself to this Madden this year and really get focused on it and uh, try to make a name for myself, really. And here he tries to test me with a streak off the top, and that's why it's great to have fast cornerbacks. Sham Shields might not be the best uh, cornerback, but he's a fast one, man. And you see that makeup speed. I was able to track that down. So I said, okay, he wants to throw a streak. Let me throw a streak. <laughs> and who not better to throw a streak to than Randall Cobb, man, one of the fastest receivers in the game. And I, I get the streak, and it's like an 80-yard touchdown bomb. <laughs> so I hit him with a headbang, man. Just rub it in, cause this dude was—I I didn't show up. This dude was being a real butthead, man. He was coming after my kicks, uh, uh, pumping my crowd down, uh, just doing all kind of necessary stuff. I didn't really show that in the film, but that's what he was doing. So I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be a—I'm gonna rub it in for him a little bit. So you know, as you guys see, this game is really got out of control. It's 40 to 17. I mean, it was—I think it was 17-17, and it just really got out of control. And there I hit him with another user pick. Uh, showing up my uh, Deion Sanders prime time skills, <laughs> just all over the field, man. Uh, back on offense, uh, just just gonna go ahead and try to score again, uh, just to go about it a little bit more. Uh, I, I mean, I could have just sent him a friendly quit. I mean, uh, concede, but I, the, the way this dude was playing, I was I was just trying to just embarrass him and rub it in anymore. And here I uh, fumble with uh, Aaron Rodgers going to the end zone, and, and Starks picks it up. Look at him, yeah, Starks on the man. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, showing off in his zone. And here I send a, a, a man blitz and he throws right at me. He's, he just keeps trying to do these little out slant routes to the outside. He throws right at me. And I guess he had finally decided he had enough, man. He, uh, <laughs> he finally decided to just quit out. He didn't even ask for uh, a concede. He just quit out. And I, I think I ended up getting like eight points from him. So like I said, I wanted to go check him out and see what he was about. And, uh, he ended up being a level 13, like I said. And uh, like I said, I, I, I played about three games in the past three months and you know I was I was very surprised I went to the lobby leaderboards uh, went to go check on uh, see if I was still ranked and even in the top 50 or whatnot and surprisingly I believe I, I think I was ranked 30 35th I think let me see I think it's coming up right here I think I'm oh yeah I'm ranked 33rd I was like wow that's still surprising I mean because I haven't played in so long well, like I said, I'm going to continue to try to get better with this Madden this year. I'm going to have a lot of tips for you guys. Until next time, y'all, I'm out. Peace.